Well, the attorney general's office telling us tonight that it appears this victim was stabbed. The focus of this investigation happening on a section of the rail trail here on Bradley Street, just beyond that Manchester police crime van. Tonight, the neighborhood is relatively quiet, but it was a completely different story earlier today. I kind of looked out and I saw the fire trucks, ambulance, and then the cruisers started pulling up. So I'm like, what is going on? It was just before 11 o'clock Friday morning when Manchester police and fire converged on this Bradley Street neighborhood, now at the center of a suspicious death investigation. So I came outside, looked, and the crime scene team went up. One woman who did not want to be identified says she just came off the trail near Nuts Pond moments before police arrived. God was on my side because I could have been the person. I was by myself and the cops were all over the place. Evelyn Diaz says her fiance came across the victim while out for a walk. And I was like, what happened? And he's like, I found this guy on the ground and he was bleeding a lot. Diaz says her fiance told her the victim had what appeared to be stab wounds. The stab wounds were really bad because you could tell that he said that he, that he was trying to defend himself because he's also having stab wounds here, 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 everywhere. Diaz and her neighbors say the trail has become a trouble spot recently and today's incident only raises their level of concern. And a lot of older people live around here. That concerns me and the kids go to school here. This is the second time something has happened down there and my family continuously tells me stay off the trail. And tonight, no word on any arrest, but officials tell us they have identified everyone that is involved in this incident. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.